One of the things that comes up fairly often when sharing projects or moving projects between machines, which I do a lot because I had a desktop at home and then a laptop while I was traveling, and before we had cloud projects, I was manually moving things back and forth, which is good practice for when you need to do it that way. Uh, but I found a few tricks inside of Resolve that make that easier. So let's have a look at one of them, which is path mapping. So I have a project here, and we're going to go into the File menu and then Project Settings. And what we're looking for is towards the bottom here, Path Mapping, which had nothing in it presently. So I'm going to go have a look here. In the master folder, I have project management and cloud projects. Now, if I go into cloud project, which is a project we're looking at here, if we go into one of these files and we hit change source folder, it'll bring up where that's located. So it's located in C, assets, resolve bits, cloud projects one. C, assets, resolve bits, cloud projects one. Now watch this. Cancel that because I'm not going to do anything with it. Go back to our project settings. And I'm going to add C assets. C and assets. Now, if you've been with me on this journey for a bit, you may have noticed that I always put everything under an assets folder, and we're getting to Y right now. Just assets. So I'm going to add another one. So assets uh, resolve bits. We'll add that one. So now, we don't do anything with it in this project right now. But uh, we're going to simulate moving this to a different machine. And we're going to do that by moving our files. So we'll open up a file explorer. We'll go to our assets, resolve bits, which is what I call these shorter kind of topic specific resolve videos. And I'm going to just go ahead and copy cloud projects and paste them to an external drive that I have here inside assets. In fact, I believe resolve bits is the name of the, yeah. Double check the spelling, looks good. And paste. So I must not have a very good cable plugged in. Oh well, won't take that long. Incidentally, this is one of the things that really irritates me about USB-C. Not all USB-C cables are created equal. All right, so now we have an identical folder on a different drive. One TB Mobile, Assets, Resolve Bit. Uh, local Disk C, Asset, Resolve Bit. So now I'm going to go to the C drive, Assets, Resolve Bit, and change Cloud Projects 1 to... Cloud Projects 1, OMG. And we'll fire up Resolve again. Couldn't change the name while it was open because it locked the folder. This is the recording session of waiting. Then we'll open up the timeline again. And OMG, where is all my media? Well, we know that we made a backup copy of it on this drive right here. So we will go back to our project settings and path mapping. And now I have two options here. I can either just say, hey, all the assets are here, or I can specifically go the resolve bits folder is here. So let's just try assets. We'll point this at 1TB Mobile, Assets, Select Folder, Save, and there we have it. All of the subfolders under assets are now re-linked to those files on a different drive. It's a very simple way of moving projects from one drive to another. Um, I, this is a very fast drive, but it's only one terabyte. Um, so you, I find myself moving files around a lot, and this is a way to do that. Um, I eventually just went and bought a four terabyte drive for my <laughs> my laptop, but beforehand I had to like shuffle off projects all the time when I was uh, going out to work um, remotely. Path mapping also works between Mac and PC because they ref reference folders pretty differently. Um, so sometimes you kind of have to. A project is not going to translate across manually like this unless you do that. But a key thing that I found out is that you really have to put the path map <laughs> possibility in there first before you 
start moving things around. If you don't do it beforehand, like I showed you here, you can't go back and, and redo it without moving the files back and then saying, or moving the folder back at least. That's another reason why I have everything under assets, because as long as I put the subfolder under assets uh, on a different drive, it's relatively easy to remap where assets is. Um, it can get a little confusing in other ways, like is that M drive assets, is that C drive assets, is that Z drive assets, but uh, to me it's worth that hassle to make the rest of it much easier. So that's path mapping as a way of keeping files together with your project, no matter which hard drive they're on. Uh, at least as I do it. There are other ways of doing this kind of thing too, but this is the one that I found works out fairly well if you're just transferring a project or the media for a project whole from one drive to another in the same location. Thanks for coming along, and I hope I see you in the next one.